Hey, what's going on, gang? Long time no see. You're probably wondering, Nate, where the heck have you been? And the long and the short of it is that I have been in YouTube jail and I have actually just been released by our oh-so-beneficial and merciful warden. So, to give just a little uh, brief overview of what happened... The very last video that I uploaded almost a month ago now, March 24th, I was talking about H.R. 1, the so-called For the People Act, which uh, just destroys the integrity of our electoral system. We were talking about how it mandates that states create automatic uh voter registry systems, which would allow illegal aliens to vote because if you get, for example, a driver's license, you're automatically registered to vote. It also says that if an illegal alien actually is registered to vote and actually votes in an election, then that person is not going to be uh, prosecuted under the law. According to the law, even though that person is not a citizen, He's, he hasn't broken the law. The law, uh, H.R. 1 does that. It gives suffrage to people in territory territories like Puerto Rico and Guam. It creates star chambers, uh, which would make all judges in the country subservient and subordinate to a 10-member unelected committee that would report to Congress and to the president. It does... A whole list of stuff. And in that video, I made a throwaway line about something that... Here's the thing, gang. I made a throwaway line to something that I can't say. Because otherwise, YouTube will say that this video violates its um, community standards and its uh, you know, user rules. And therefore, it will chuck me right back into jail. That's sort of the diabolical, the, the diabolical efficiency of the technological system which we now find ourselves under. So let me just say that I had a throwaway line about an event of national importance that happened in November of 2020. And I gave some rather, well, honest opinions about it. And I will just leave it at that. And for that, I was thrown into jail. The video was taken down the very next day in the early hours of March 25th. And I was told that I now had a strike against my channel. So just to give a brief overview in case you're interested about how this works. This is not the first time that YouTube had actually taken a video down from my channel. I made a whole video about a particular article published by a particular publication, which seemed to suggest that not everything was on the up and up in that aforementioned event of national importance that happened on November 2020. YouTube took that video down in February, and they said that I had received a warning. So when they took down that second video about HR1, they also gave my channel a strike, which meant that I could not upload, I could not stream, I basically could not be a creator on YouTube for one week. That's how long it was supposed to last, for one week. So, March 25th, the video came down. A week after that would have been April 2nd, Good Friday. So on Holy Saturday, as I was prettying and dolling myself up for the Easter Vigil, I tried, actually, to upload a video, which I basically gave the same spiel that I'm giving now. Hey, I'm back, this is what's happened, and this is what YouTube has been doing. I wasn't allowed to upload that video, even though it had been a week. The message said that I had too many strikes on my channel. Gang, I have tried about four times since April 3rd to upload that video. I think it's even been more than four times. It's been like between four and six times I have tried to upload that very video. And each time, the message has been that I had too many strikes on my channel. I could not upload anything. I could not stream anything. Yaddy, yaddy. Yeah, 
Uh, until yesterday, actually. I'm uploading this on uh, April the 15th. I recorded this yesterday, April 14th. And sure enough, on April 14th, I was actually able to upload videos again. A full 11 days after the sentence was supposed to have ended. So that's where I've been. That's what's been going on. So in light of that, I have a bit of a service announcement. You might say, we're going to start uploading videos again. I'm going to try to uh, keep doing Rolling Stones every week at the end of each week. I've got some ideas for some regular On The Stone videos that I want to make. Uh, but then I am seriously contemplating calling it quits here on YouTube. This is something actually that I've been thinking about for a little while now, just because I've been questioning the efficiency of posting things on YouTube. And those doubts, that questioning has only gotten stronger now in light of what I just went through, what actually just happened to me, what's probably been happening to hundreds and hundreds of small creators, because that's how they get you. That's how they get you, gang. I was saying, you know, YouTube gave my uh, channel a strike and they pulled down my video, couldn't be a creator on it for a week. If they pulled another video down, so a third video down within a 90-day period from that, then I would go back into YouTube jail for two weeks, again, supposedly. And if they did it with a fourth time within that 90-day period, my channel would just be vaporized. So this is how they get you. This is how they get creators to muzzle themselves, especially the bigger, the bigger you get and the bigger audience you have, the more subscribers you have and the more sponsorships you have, the more deals you get, the more income that you're actually drawing from this godforsaken platform, the more you start uh, kind of uh, hedging your bets. I might, well, not hedging your bets, that's the wrong thing. But the more you keep sort of softening the blows, the more you actually say, oh, you know what, that might get me into trouble. Don't want to go there. Oh, I would love to say something about this, but uh, don't want to go there. You know, I, I can't afford to not be able to post anything for two weeks, not even to be able to tell any of my subscribers what actually happened to me. I really can't afford my channel to go the way of the Dodo because this is now my main source of income. This is how they control us. This is how Silicon Valley, again, YouTube now here in particular, this is how they make sure that we play their tune. We dance to their music. We can't just come out here and actually say, hey, you know what? This happened. This is a big deal. People should be worried about this. So in light of that, I am now more than ever seriously considering within the next month or two just leaving YouTube. And if I do, if I make that decision... I will make another video. I will make a formal announcement. I won't just stop uploading videos. I'm not going just to kind of say sayonara, guys. See you later. No, I will have an official um, goodbye video, as it were, which I will upload. In terms of what I will do uh, in case that happens, I am uh, playing with some ideas. But again, don't really want to say anything until we cross that bridge, if we come to it. It's a very, very real possibility, I will say that, gang. So, long and the short of it, I am back. I am raring to go. Um, we're going to start uploading videos again. We've got some things that, uh, topics that I've been uh, working on in my mind that I really want to get out here. So this is a, this is a blessing. I want to get these videos out, no matter what happens. And so, here we go again, gang. Inch by inch, we keep moving forward. All right. Take care of yourselves. Uh, stay safe. Stay free. I will chat at you all real soon, gang. Ciao.